adding and subtracting money amounts. When adding and subtracting money, you must always line up the decimal point. If a decimal point is not included in the number, remember that it is understood to be at the end. Once the decimal points are lined up, you can add or subtract as usual. Just remember to include placeholder zeros if needed. Add $32 and $3.45. We need to line up the decimals. Remember that since there's no decimal written in $32, it's understood to be at the end. If you want, you can include the placeholder zeros after $32. Now, add the numbers as usual. $35.45 Does this answer make sense? Yes, $32 plus around $3 should be around $35, which it is. What is $7 minus $2.13? We need to line up the decimals. Remember that since there's no decimal written in $7, it's understood to be at the end. Let's also include the placeholder zeros. Now, subtract, borrowing from the 7. Notice that the placeholder zeros are needed in order to be able to borrow and subtract. $4.87 Does this answer make sense? Yes, $7 minus around $2 should be around $5 which our answer, $4.87, is very close to. Alex spent $21.87 on a new toy, $3.87 on candy, and $5.18 on a gift for his sister. How much total money did he spend? We need to line up the decimals and add as usual. $30.92 Does this answer make sense? Let's check by estimating $22 plus four dollars plus five dollars equals thirty one dollars and our answer is very close to this so it is reasonable when adding and subtracting money you must always line up the decimal point if a decimal point is not included in the number, remember that it is understood to be at the end. Let's see what you have learned in this lesson.